Okay, we're gonna start with GameStop. I love the question that just says, are there women in this? Is there woman in the WWE 2K18? What kind of question is that? How about boobs? Are there boobs? The kids were crying. <laughs> That's good stuff. What are we doing today, Kimberly? I don't know, what are we doing? <laughs> Not how I sound in my videos. <laughs> Today, we are reading bad game reviews of terrible games that I have reviewed and most likely gave my own bad review of. I got this idea from other YouTubers who read reviews of like, random restaurants in the middle of nowhere or like subways or something just to see the bad experiences people have had but i thought it would be funny for me to do video games before we start there's two things i want to mention really quick one kimberly do you remember the first one uh is it socal yes we are going to socal retro gaming expo next month so if you want to meet both of us we're doing a dual con appearance in california so make sure to use my code BEATEMUPS at checkout down below to get like 10% off. Put an eyelash on your face. Also, no, no, no. the second thing I want to talk about, Kim and I have actually been trying to do a video together for a while. I ordered a ton of things from Etsy so we can do another Girlfriend Buys video, except this time I'm buying stuff for you. Right. And I went a little overboard with what I bought. Now that stuff has arrived, even though I ordered express shipping. But you know, it's not all about the money. And I definitely wouldn't do a sponsored spot to recoup the losses, like talk about some awesomely addicting mobile game called Spin Jump, which you can download on your nearest Android device using the Google Play Store. <laughs> I definitely wouldn't get Kim to go out on the street and interview random people who are definitely not us about the game itself. Well, so in Spin Jump, a ball falls down and you have to use your finger to slide the obstacles out of the way, but don't let it hit the red bricks because that's how you get game over. As you progress and get further and further in the game, more red zones will appear, making it harder and harder. Are you playing oh, Spin Jump? Oh, hi. No, oh, yes, I am, actually. Oh, I'm playing Endless Mode, because as you know, there's two modes. There's the level mode, where you actually get to the end of the level, and then there's Endless Mode, where you just keep falling and falling into a faster hole of abyss. And it all reminds me of my life, and I love it. I am completely a different person. I am not wood. My favorite item in the game is the rocket, because it breaks through all the rings. I like breaking stuff. During the game, as you play, you get diamonds, and you can use those diamonds to unlock new ball skins. I know. My favorite item is the shield. I like breaking stuff. So tell all your friends about this amazing game, and make sure to give it five stars on the Google Play Store. Okay, we're gonna start with GameStop, and we're gonna do WWE 2K18, which is the second worst game on the Switch. So there's a lot more one-star reviews than there are anything else. Good horror game. I bought this and nearly crapped my pants at the lag being 15 FPS. I love the question that just says, are there women in this? Is there woman in the WWE 2K18? Yes, there is. Women on WWE 2K18, maybe on the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> what kind of question is that? Is there woman? Just one. Just, if there's there multiple, I don't want. But just one? <laughs> no, send oh, me three. What a, I don't know. what a creepy question. <laughs> How about boobs? Are there boobs? Boobs? All right, give me three. <laughs> give me three boobs? <laughs> yeah, three boobs. With you know, my you can game. ask for that at GameStop. <laughs> I've been getting the wrong stuff. What? Nothing. I like how you type in Fallout 76 and the game doesn't even come up first. Like they're trying to bury it under the merch. They're like buy the shirts, they don't have glitches. The game isn't even, it. Where, where is the game? Biggest Miss Yake I ever made. Not the biggest, there's two of them. <laughs> you spelled mistake wrong. I hated that I lost $79 on this steaming pile of mole rat dung. I could have bought a homeless child a nice winter coat. <laughs> I don't like it because it had a lot of cardboard pieces and for the price that was too much money for cardboard pieces. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's on the box. You wanted less cardboard pieces? That's my favorite though. Sucked. Sucked. <laughs> <laughs> he took the time. Aaron. He this... took the time to write a review and all I wanted to say was just sucked. I like how the title was sucks and then <laughs> sucked. Wrong, I, I got the wrong <laughs> item. 
What did you want? Uh, I was trying to order something, like something different, like anything. Mm. They got Labo, so I decided to go to Amazon and rate Labo a one star. <laughs> one star, Because wasn't... they got the wrong mm. thing. In the garbage now. Good thing it's made of cardboard, recycled it. <laughs> More or less, <laughs> I gave it as a gift so I don't know. <laughs> One star One for ambiguity. Star. We don't know. <laughs> we'll never know. I sent it to someone's house. They didn't say. One person found this helpful. They unfriended me on Facebook, so I'm imagining they would rate it <laughs> one star. <laughs> didn't mention in the product description, but this won't play your old games. Only the preloaded ones. Doesn't... Sir, <laughs> let me ask you something. Doesn't play Real quick, Wayne. PlayStation um, discs. <laughs> When it came out of the box and you saw that it was about a third of the size of the other one, did you still try to put the disc in there? You know I would what I like love? to know. I love 161 people found that helpful. Oh, comments. Click the comments, please. 160 I would like people to see who else. We're like, oh! Some people are unbelievable. This product has many issues, but this complaint is 100% on you. No one, and I mean no one, <laughs> expected this mini console to play original discs. I mean, do you even understand the physics here? Oh, there we go. There you go. I think Thank the you. disc fits if you fold it in half. That's how I got mine to play. <laughs> <laughs> SpongeBob meme. Doesn't play PlayStation discs. It will now. They just hacked it. Hold on to your undies. I will only get better thanks to the wonderful world of hackers. Hold on to your undies. This console is another scam by Sony. Another scam. Another. What, what was, were the previous what was the scams? First one, Tony? <laughs> this guy just keeps on getting scammed by Sony. Not a PlayStation console. Can't play any discs. Come with a few preloaded castoffs. Castoffs. But has no disc drive. <laughs> Unit is very small, about the size of a bread slice. Waste. He I, was upset <laughs> that it was small. I hope that he held up a piece of bread. Like, what can I reference for size? Bread. He fits. was upset that the mini PlayStation Classic was small. <laughs> no power adapter. No power adapter. I hope that's how he sounds when he talks. Well, like how I did it. No. Isn't that funny, huh? It's not that funny. Because in my head, he's wearing those homeschool kid renaissance fair sandals with the Velcro. He calls up. I need a minute. Calls up Amazon customer service. Yes, sir. How may I help you? No! <laughs> Power adapter. Yeah. Do you need a minute? Yeah. Dude, the first review on GameStop. Letdown. Need a better games or the option to at least be able to read discs. Again, can you play PlayStation games or just the preloaded <coughs> ones? It's insane how many people thought that you'd be able to play your games and use your memory cards and use your control. What they literally want is a $10 PlayStation, which you can buy probably on eBay for Go like- to literally every game Any, anywhere. And just get one. People are giving I... those away. Yeah, all the time. <coughs> no power adapter. No! <laughs> Don't buy this. It took two adults and two 11 year old boys over five hours to build it. The kids were crying. <laughs> Haven't bought it, but looks dumb. <laughs> it's stupid, Shannon. Thanks, Shannon. Shannon didn't even buy it. Click the comments. Haven't bought it. Looks dumb. I haven't met you, but you seem blank. I feel like you just went like this. Yeah. You seem... At the moment, 30 people found this helpful. There is no words. CB had five friends over to play 1-2 Switch. So it's a few months ago. So his friends regularly play 1-2 Switch mm. and they have a great time. Just pretending to eat a hot dog together. And they decided to mix things up with Kirby, which arguably is a short game, but a fun game. And they decided it was not something they would want to play again. They went back to 1-2 Switch. CB, that is not a friend group I wish to be in. <laughs> do not invite me over for your friend night. You do you, CB, but that's... <laughs> I'm gonna stay over here on my side of the house. Yeah. His friends come over to play. Every week. Five people came over. Five. five that's to six play. total. Name five, five friends that five, you have. Five. <laughs> I'll wait. He has more friends than me. <laughs> and he likes one two switch. <laughs> wow, that hurts. I wanna see. Show me Mario Odyssey bad review. Oh, I was gonna look at Xenoblade. Oh, do that. Too. We'll do Xenoblade and then we'll look at Mario Odyssey. Not the Zelda you were hoping for. This game sucks. You gotta be a hardcore Dungeons and Dragons fan to be into this crap. More of it's reading crap from people you don't care to hear anything about. This is more of a bad book than a game. Robert, we could be friends. <laughs> No, that's too much. That's too much. I don't agree with that. They patched the game <laughs> to remove, think you can take me and don't forget me. Did they really? Yeah, very sad, zero out of 10. He liked it. They actually patched they took it. it. Out. They took it that's out. my joke. Yeah, they took it 
now. That's the joke from my video. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's weird. weird to me. The smugness that no, just because came out of a few things have happened here. One, Jason watches my videos, presumably, unless someone else made the same joke. But my review got quite a lot of views. But the developers saw it and took that criticism and actually took that out. I don't, I don't know. That's it's surreal to me as someone who still doesn't understand why people watch my content. Could not return. It, it was a duplicate gift. gift. What don't you understand, Amazon? It was a duplicate gift. Jeez. This game blows. This game blows from elf ratings. Elf the controls ratings. are completely unintuitive and overly sensitive. The damage dealt is inconsistent. Too many abilities to keep straight. Zelda was so much better when it was more simplistic. You had a sword, you had a shield, and you had an interchangeable utility. Can I read that right? What's that even mean? Now you don't get a sword, you just pick up whatever's nearby, spring and pray it doesn't break. You can summon remote detonated bombs? Question mark? Crouch? Question mark? Use some kind of magnetic magic? Question mark? It's gone from a fantasy adventure to something sci-fi post-apocalyptic future adventure. You have stamina to worry about? You also had that in Skyward Sword, but we'll forget about that. You can craft meals. The physics are all effed up. The physics are amazing. Guys, less is more. Oh, shocked by the overwhelmingly positive reviews. Zelda fanboy. Zelda fanboys, I suppose. All I know is, I ain't one of them. One star from David. All I these... want to know what they play. All these... Yeah, I want to know what games they play. What's your favorite game? What about Ark? you, Elf Rings? What are you playing in your spare time, Ark? They we could see what else they review. Let's find out. Let's gauge. Let's see what else Elf Rings has Elf reviewed. Rings. What, what is what it? You like? So he didn't like Zelda. Didn't like his his baby monitor. His baby monitor. Didn't like <laughs> his Collective Minds eight pack metal stylus set. Did not like his fantasy and science fiction magazine. I feel dirty going through his nice bookend. He bought a Vita and called it a bookend. What did you think it was gonna be? When was that? Oh, that was 2014. We're going pretty far back here. He really, he, he really loved liked. Metal Gear Solid V. He bought The Legend of Zelda 2 in 2011 and said he wished he could give it a zero star and it was utter crap. It's not a great Zelda game, I'll give you that, but what are you knew? What, what, who? <clears throat> He's never reviewed. The, only, the only game he liked was Metal Gear 5. Uh, I want to know what David reviews. Yeah. Not a Zelda fanboy. What is he a fanboy of? Let's see like, what he likes. Dave? Six, Six reviews. reviews. Didn't like Zelda. Didn't like the Nyko charge base, well, which, no to be fair, they will brick your switch, so don't use those. That one I agree with. Price has doubled. Price has doubled on his McCormick All Natural Pure Vanilla Extract Gluten Free Vanilla. Okay, but there's a vanilla crisis in Madagascar. Could we acknowledge that for a second? Can you acknowledge is the vanilla crisis care, in Dave? Madagascar? Do you care? Before you start care one more, starring Dave. vanilla care extract more. all over the place. Mm. I don't. I don't. <laughs> Mad. Wow. One star for Dave. You don't have a rating Dave one star. <laughs> Rude. Socially unaware. One star. He also didn't like his Black and Decker 12 volt vacuum cleaner, mm. but he loved. He <laughs> loved his Dr. Tobias Omega 3 fish oil triple strength burpless. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> Didn't burp once. David loved it. Yeah, I don't know. I know you gave him a one star, but he's at a solid three for me. Three and a half stars for David. I think we're gonna call it there. That was fun. Thanks to Spin Jump for sponsoring this video. Make sure to check them out as well while you're down there. Thanks to Kim for laughing with me and yawning with me through this entire process. It took a while to find funny reviews, actually. Yeah, that there was wasn't, a little sad. wasn't yeah. as many funny ones as no, we thought. No, mostly just honest. But we found some hilarity in the other reviews, which kind of felt like an invasion of privacy, but hey, it is what it is. It's public, it's burpless. Hair flipped all over that subscribe button.